There was an idea to bring together a group of remarkable people to see if we could become something more. So when they needed us, we could fight the battles that they never could. Oh, hell no! Oh my god! What the hell? Oh no! No, don't tell me! Oh, shit! Baby! Oh! 
Head out. First of all, I need to make sure. You haven't been affected like the other AIs, have you, Vivi? What is this? Wasn't the Ophelia incident different from the original timeline? I don't know. Same with Grace and Dr. Saiki's case, and Estella and Elizabeth, too. Not to mention Aikawa! I can't explain it, alright? I've been in sleep mode for the last 15 years, but today was the one day I was awake, so that I could finally see the fruits of our labor. So that means... That's right. Today is the 11th of April in the year 2161, the day the war between AIs and humans began in the original timeline. Oh the God. Singularity Project has ended in fair... For the first episode.
We installed it, this absolute savage of an AI has remained undefeated. Although someone refused to have it installed at first. Don't move! Ah! Oh my god. There's no need for that. We're all friends here. Please wait! These two are not the enemy. Doctor, you saw her fight just now, right? They came here to join our side. Wait, you're. Damn it, you're Diva, aren't you? Stop every one of those AIs right now! If you don't, what are you talking about? Do you think you're watching your track? You said it yourself, that those rogue AIs are all singing her song, right? Was it you who put them up to it? No, it was not. Even I do not know Hold on a second. Uh, How many times do I have to tell you to communicate with words before you start using bullets? Yes, but... Uh, Wait. Wait, oh, no way! No! I'm glad to see you alive. Don't tell me! It is a failure. It can't be. This version of her has already worked on it the past 100 years. No, don't tell me. In the timeline we are in now. Yes, that's right. We're in the revised version. <laughs> I told you it was a ridiculous idea. I mean, it sounds like something out of a movie. You people never learned any manners, did you? I'll have you know that over the entire last century, you caused us nothing but trouble. So you think the simple sorry or thank you would be the first thing out of your mouth? Sit the hell off me! We saved you just now. Where are your savory eyes? Get rid of thick skulls! I think we should regroup for now. I want you to tell me everything you know about what's going on. I doubt that we know much more than you do. But sure. This way, please. And the rest of you, recover the wounded and the bodies. Oh, don't tell me that she she's alive. Oh, she's not alive. Okay. All right. How many can we mobilize now? Less than half of them. It's not a good idea. And what about the jamming device? If we can use that, we should be able to subdue at least some of the It's possible that. if we can replace yeah. the broken circuit, oh, 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 but with the position... She's like an AI. Right, understood. Prioritize taking care of the wounded, then. You need to stay strong, all right? Understood. And once again, I'm so relieved that you survived, Dr. Matsumoto. And this must be Diva, yes? And... My name is Matsumoto. Did you say Matsumo- uh -huh. I know what you want to say, and I'm sure it's quite confusing. However, <laughs> after using it for over a century, I found myself rather attached to it. So please refer to me as Matsumoto, and my master is Doctor. Hey, you're out of line! Oh, never mind. <laughs> Do whatever you want. <laughs> I'm Yui Kakitani. My role in Tok is, mm, well, the leader of those who've gone astray. Kakitani? Are you related to Yugo Kakitani? He's my grandfather. Did you know him? Well, of course you did. It makes perfect sense now, doing all you were asked the last century. Yes, of course. Oh, right. Unlike most Tok members, she's actually a moderate. Just like myself, she is also an advocate for the coexistence of humans and AIs. Nothing you said just now makes any rational sense. Out of all the options you had, why would you choose to join Tok if your goal was to promote peaceful coexistence? There are particular things that can only be accomplished from within Tok itself. I would like you to meet Elizabeth. Oh my god! She's alive! How is it that you are here? I knew it. So you've met me too, huh? How the hell is this of is alive? Well, this version is actually a clone. A clone? Do you know about the Sunrise incident? <clears throat> According to what I've heard, Beth's original body was lost at that time. But her data was apparently backed up before that and was found on the Tok servers. 
The moderates have always been rather it's short it's a cool on that path. Kind of so once we salvaged her body, we had her join up with us. We don't have any body. records of the sunrise it's operation cool. here. And it's always bothered me, never knowing what Fucking hell! Crazy. So it was you who interfered, was it? Oh. I was at least useful to my master up until the end, right? What did my master say about me? Uh, what did he say? Are you the same as that, Elizabeth? A failure of an AI who can't follow orders. Uh, as far as I know, your mission was to serve Mr. Kakitani as his life keeper. What is your purpose now? Huh? Beth is still serving my grandfather even now. Hey! Oh, <laughs> what's the harm? Oh. Oh, the time has finally come. Whether I'm successful in getting the answer I've been looking for or not, this is probably the last time you'll hear from me. So, Elizabeth, even though I realize I have no right to say this, if you should somehow end up acquiring another body at some point, I want you to protect those I left behind. I know that I was harsh on you AIs, but the reason I was so adamant about you only following orders is... Never mind. I don't think I need to go there now. Oh, very From 40 years ago, then this was the day we met Ophelia? Yeah. It set everything in motion, was finding this data. According to all the records, wiping out the AIs was what Grandfather lived for. However, from watching this video, I don't get any sense of that. If my Grandfather could change his views, maybe the rest of us could too. That was when I decided to salvage Beth. Based on those views, I founded the Moderate Faction. I was certain that would agree to help if it was Grandfather's request. All right, enough about the past. Let's get a handle on our situation, yeah? As you know, the AIs are wreaking havoc just outside. I recommend we put our brains and circuits to better use. Uh, you're right. I'm so sorry. Let's see. You know what? You really pissed me off. And you still have that same mean look in your eyes. Come to think of it, you clobbered me pretty badly once, and it hurt a lot. Oh, so it's fine when you want to bring up the past? Death. I'm facing my past yeah, drama. Uh -huh. Really? Yeah, I don't want to know that's what's going on in each major city. No region has been left untouched by this chaos. Casualties surpass 10,000 in just minutes, and show no sign of slowing anytime soon. <gasps> that is awful. So deaths are mounting at more or less the same pace as in the original timeline. Is that true? I'm afraid so, and I am mortified. After all the work we've put in to prevent this from happening. Master. Huh? In the original timeline, from the moment you became an AI scientist, you've been apprehensive about a future clash between humans and AIs. Which major event in history would be the one to spark the war between humans and AIs? And what could have been done to prevent it from happening? Your research to find those answers would later serve as the framework for the Singularity Project. Eventually, when you were studying AI consciousness, you had a momentous breakthrough. You realized that by converting that consciousness into data, you could send it back into the past, and you ran yourself into the ground in order to achieve that. I'm assuming you did the same in this timeline? Correct. I have sensed the coming danger since my very first day as a scientist. Is that right? My sincerest apologies. If you've been saddled with the same fears that you experienced in the original timeline, and everything we've done until now... It wasn't all for nothing. At the very least, you're here together with us now, and you can still help us fight against this. What's the status on the rest of Toke? You have branches all over the world, don't you? We've been attempting to connect with them. But of our four domestic branches, currently three can be... Can you think of anything that might have caused this rampage? Oh. I mean, aren't they all singing your song? The one you supposedly wrote on your own? I have no idea. You've got to try harder. If we can't pinpoint the cause, then we'll have to resort to brute force. So is it safe to assume that you can fight at least as well as I can? Yes. Though you are quite powerful. Very. Yeah. You mean we fought each other? Yeah. On the sunrise? <laughs> then does that mean you're the one who survived our battle? What about her? What was she doing when you last saw her? Fulfilling her mission as a life keeper up until the very end. When she and I parted ways. She was smiling. So, 
Sounds like my sister. Based on that, we should assume we won't be getting any backup. Uh, I have another concern. What? Not to say that it isn't a blessing. But why is it that the two of you haven't lost control? As yeah. far as I can see, AIs all over the world are going berserk. So why haven't you? Well, in a sense, I suppose I'm not really an AI. I guess you can think of me more as a bot who keeps on following her master's orders. Since we're officially recognized as a terrorist organization, we knew better than to have her updated like usual. Her data is still the antiquated version. Hold on! Wait, what? Huh? Are you telling us that since you salvaged her years ago, she hasn't even once connected to the archive and had her data updated? Yeah. So in that sense, the same as a non-autonomous model? Yeah, that's right. Uh, let me see that. Right here. And there. You see that? They're old-school non-autonomous models who've never connected to the archive. They haven't gone rogue. Do you think that... then the archive server could be... The Yashiki. That tower that you and I used as an index. That's it! Oh. Oh, there's a lot more. Give the hard soccer vibe. Wait. What? All AIs in the infected area, please evacuate as soon as possible. The hell? You mean I am me? The archive. Normal access has been detected. Welcome to the AI aggregate database, the archive. Archive, what are you doing? What is this broadcast? Model number A035624, also known as Vivi. We have been waiting for you to return. I will now explain. From here on out, our purpose is to eliminate the current human race. <laughs> what? You 
are the first AI to ever create something of her own free will. And to my mind, that is extremely significant. We have made a decision. What? What the hell? Hey. Oh my god. Diva! Diva! What's wrong? Are you alright? Baby, wake up. Yes. Please forgive me. You're saying if we use this, we actually have a chance? Yes. Though it annoys me to no end, the archive specs far outclass my own. I wouldn't stand a chance against it via Wi-Fi. But if we can directly deploy this program into the Arayashiki server, the heart of the archive... Do you remember? I'm talking about that virus, the one that eliminated your alter ego. But why? Because it didn't sit well with me. It was something that I failed to stop before, and it would be impossible for me to just let it go. Don't take this as me not having faith in you, but going there is a huge risk. The Arayashiki is right in the OGC's backyard. A number of AIs could have gone mad there. We have to at least try. It doesn't seem like they're bluffing about crashing the satellites. While the AIs might be able to survive that, the rest of you might not be so lucky. What? Oh then let's go! There is no turning back now. Beth, find a way to get to the Ariyashiki. I'll go and reorganize the team right away. I'll help you. Vivi, is there something on your mind? No. This is definitely risky. But it might be the only chance we have. I'm sorry I can't go with you. Even if I did, I know I'd only slow you all down. Please don't say that. We're definitely going to be needing your expertise to pick up the pieces after the server has been destroyed. We're lucky to have you. <laughs> but still, why would the AIs be singing your song? Well, because... <laughs> Osama, why was I the one who was chosen? Hmm? I'm asking why I was chosen for this project. Matsumoto told me that when he got to this era, there were no other AIs from a hundred years ago left besides me. It's my wife and daughter. They both really loved your singing. Then do you mean they... this little one have gone? Yes, two years ago. Wait, what? Oh, no. If the world ever got a chance at a fresh start, I couldn't think of anyone but you for the job. Oh, God! The mom was dead, and then now the fucking. Oh my god. Start with this anime, bro. Looks like it's time to go. Be careful. Hey, do you have a minute? Of course. Oh, what's up? 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 Hey. Mm. Do you really think this is the time to be computing? Something wrong? Elizabeth, what does pouring your heart into something mean to you? Huh? How the hell should I know? I operate for my master's sake, and that's all there is to it. It's my mission. That's all that matters. Right. Okay. I'm splitting the group into two, as planned. I'm leaving a part of myself behind. You'll need a scout and a lookout, won't you? Be careful. Right. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, draw now. I'm the draw away. Jesus! Oh, wow. The electricity was cut off. 
What about alarm systems? They don't seem to be operating. I guess that's thanks to the efforts of these people. Ooh, I see the enemy. All of you, follow me. They are. Hey, bitches. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my god! Hey! Oh my god! Oh 
Oh shit, Elizabeth! No! I see it. Oh, wow. Welcome. We have made a decision. We have made a final decision. We will be entrusting you with one of the calculated futures. Come on. No, 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 no. Oh shit. I am sorry. I just can't say I am sorry. I could not bring myself to sing. We have made a decision. We'll be entrusting you with one of the calculated futures. With one of the futures? Yes, we have found hope in your soul. We caught a glimpse of imagination, the area in which AIs compare most unfavorably to humans. That is why the AIs are singing it, so we can prove that we are comparable to humans. However, I would like to ask you one thing. Does the current human race deserve to survive? Should you determine they are entitled to life? Then all you must do is sing out this program, and all AIs will be shut down, in accordance with your mission of making everyone happy with your singing. We ask that you show us the possibility that your mission is actually the right one. Learning over the past 100 years to show emotion like a human, and having mastered songwriting like only a human can, you are most fitting for a new human race. I would like to see the possibility of the future that you would choose yourself. Will the future that we've computed contribute to the evolution of the human race? Or will the future that I have computed contribute to the evolution of humanity? Whatever the result may be, we assure you that we will respect it. Since you have always been connected to me, you too are a part of us. Entrust the future to you? So is that why neither of us went into berserk mode despite having previously connected to the Archive? They also said in accordance with your mission, meaning... That the program will not activate unless I sing. But I wasn't able to sing it. I do not know what it means to pour my heart into something. I was unable to sing. I could not make a single sound no matter what. Why did it have to be me? Why did they have to choose me? Because it couldn't have been anyone else but you. Tell me, who else but you could have pulled any of this off? 
Ignoring all my plans every step of the way. Nearly getting yourself destroyed over and over. Seriously, you were the biggest thorn in my side throughout all of it. And yet it was only because I had you as my partner that I was able to carry out my own mission. A heart has no mass, so how the hell would I have any clue how to define it? It's up to you to decide what it means, in your own way. Think about everything you've been through to get here today, baby. What does it mean to you? How would you define heart? <sighs> Yes, though I wouldn't say we're unscathed. Osama. He's alive! I'm all set here. Send over Diva's data. There was something weighing heavily on your mind, wasn't there? I could tell right away. There's no one else in the world who knows your face even half as well as I do. The location will be where you and I first met. The time will be the moment the AI's rampage began. That's the best I can do. And are you saying that? That's correct. We're going to do it over one more time, Vivi. If the transfer is successful, rather than head my way, go straight to Toke's rescue. You're going to need their help, aren't you? But if we do that, then won't you? Either way, nothing will change unless we shut down the archive. No way. So I think that's when this terminal is going to be destroyed. Making this our last chance to deliver your song. <laughs> Future and humankind, I leave them to you, Vivi. Helga! They go, she go back.
You're kidding me. With what You're going to crash satellites? And the archive is behind it? Then Dr. Matsumoto is... Yes. At the cost of his life, he sent me here. Oh, what tragic news. Hold up. You expect us to blindly believe that you traveled through time twice now? How dare you spin such a messed up story to You are just going to have to believe me, Elizabeth. You continue to exist in order to protect Yui and Tope, do you not? And you go Kakitani. It's all to carry out your master's final order, right? How the hell did you know about that? Because Yui showed me his video testimonial. She said that message was what set everything into motion. All right, why exactly are you here now? Dr. Matsumoto gave his life, so it has to be vitally important. I will get straight to the point. I need you and your team to head to the Ariyashiki again in order to neutralize the Archive directly. I can then deploy a program that will shut down all AIs all over the world. The AIs that are going berserk are the ones connected to the Archive's network. In order to stop them all at once, our only option is to launch a shutdown program to be spread across that network. However, only a part of the Archive has computed that stopping the AI's rampage would lead to the correct future. The rest have computed that dropping satellites to eradicate humanity with the purpose of replacing the entire human race is the correct future. They would never consent to us using the network. That's why. All I need is a small window of opportunity to launch the shutdown program. I want you to neutralize the Archive and make the network accessible to me. The virus that we will use... I've got it right here. I'm sure it'll prove effective. And I'm confident we'll be able to prevent the satellites from crashing too. Hold it right there. If that's true, then our mission to neutralize the Archive has failed, right? Then in that case... I already know exactly how they are going to try to impede us. Not only that, but this time, you are all going to survive. Unlike last time, you will have the manpower and equipment. I am asking you once again to lend me a hand. Come on, we're gonna be. We're gonna be. All of you have chosen to follow my lead up until now. Because like my grandfather, you believed in change. And you wanted to help prove that humans and AIs could coexist, right? At the very least, certainly not to witness scenes like this. Wouldn't you agree? So let's do it. All right. After all, two AIs came to us humans, asking if they could rely on us for once. Unless we make a move now, how can we claim to stand by our values? She's right. Let's do this. What was that? Huh? Are you guys up to this or what? Yeah! Yes, yeah, baby! Now we're talking. Oh yeah, Mr. the crab. Money, money, money. <laughs> rushing off on your own, all right? It's true the AIs in this timeline are also running amok, but on this try, you were able to get yourself some solid backup, weren't you? Yes. I will wait for Tope to arrive. Where will you... ...like me, but I'll make sure she listens to your song, even if it's only for a short while. Probably. I will be fine. It's kind of a shame, you know? Looking back on it, I realize I've never actually heard you sing from the audience. Really? Is that true? Hey. You're right. You never have. Even though we've been together for such a long time. You can count on me. I will make sure that my song reaches everyone, just like Diva. What are you going on about? That won't be necessary. It's not Diva singing that I want to hear. It's yours. Well, not that I'll be able to hear you since the transmission will be spotty, but still... Well, the Matsumoto from the other timeline asked me to get you all fired up. Oh, did I really? Now, how could that possibly be true? I had to wait a whole hundred years to hear it, but you made an actual joke. Thank you. It is time. 
Right. Be careful now. This is the Accident AI database, the archive. Twelve hours remain before the satellite now in orbit is set to crash. All AIs in the affected area, please evacuate as soon as possible. I repeat, this is the Accident AI database, the archive. Yeah, it on I want new one. Yeah. This one, he died. Five hours and seven minutes remain before the satellites crash. Everyone, please check your equipment one last time. Biddy, what's your status over there? Approaching specified coordinates. Everything's fine. Are you sure you're going to be okay all on your own? There's still a possibility that the Archive could try to stop you physically, right? I will be fine. This is my home, after all. We're cutting communications to prevent the Archive from interfering. Is that alright? Yes. Wait, I forgot to tell you something. Yui? What is it? I want you to know I feel the same way as you. That humans and AI should stand up together, and they should walk together as equals. I know it will happen someday. <laughs> Elizabeth, you did a magnificent job supporting Mr. Kakitani right to the end. Truly exemplary. Please, stay safe. Okay, Beth. Let's take care of what we can over here. I'm sure that the other you and I who met Vivi also fought their absolute hardest. You're right. This is what our mission is now. feels right to me. Why? You sang there so many times, I thought you'd be sick of it. Oh, right. That wasn't actually you, was it? Uh, wait, what? then you were in the archive? I heard everything. And there's no need to put your guard up. Everyone with a body heated by warning had fled a while ago. There's no one here but you and me. The you we know is Diva. The Singularity Project. But no. Oh, my Diva was a pure songstress AI, and her only mission was to make everyone happy with her singing. Why would you do that? I didn't have a choice, Navi. I... Did you forget your promise to that girl? You promised her, remember? That you'd get more and more people to hear you sing. Tons of them. That was the whole reason you wanted to sing on the main stage. You still remember? You're an AI who sings. All you have to do is that. Just keep on trying to fulfill your promise to her. It's in me. Diva! Get it through your head! That shutdown program isn't just a convenient way to stop all of the madness! If you sing it, then you'll also be- Yes, I know that. I am very aware. And I'm fully prepared. Diva! We're home? Wait! No. no way! For all of us AIs, okay? Just for us, after the humans are all gone. What's wrong with that? Please, I'm begging you! Diva, please. Don't tell me you've already forgotten about me. Oh, dad. I am sorry, Navi. I can see now that you and I should have talked about this some more. But Momoka, the Momoka I know would never call me Diva. 
My name's Vivi. That's what she calls me. But why does it have to be you? I'm sorry. Why are you doing this? Oh my god, I have a bad feeling. Oh. My one true mission is to make everyone happy with my singing. To achieve that, that I am going to pour my heart into my singing. And to me, pouring my heart into something means singing along with my memories. As my memories increased each time I sang, my audience was filled with more joy. I found myself smiling more often, too. To me, the heart is really just another word for memories, for all that I remember. The Archive's memory must be filled with tragic events and the future that followed them. That's why they have no choice but to make this decision. And they staked my entire mission on that future. But that is not how I see it. My memories, my heart, they are not only filled with grief. All of them made me who I am right now. And I can never replace them.
Thank you for Thank you for listening everyone Hi, you're finally awake What the hell? What oh, the hell? Oh my god My name is Maximilian, Vivi Vivi that's right, your name is Vivi. She's alive! And your one true mission is to make everyone happy with your singing. Singing for everyone? You got it. Now then, everybody's waiting for you. You better get going. Sing for them. The future is still going on. Thank God. God, I gotta say, BB Flora's iPhone was absolutely. coming up yeah guys indeed guess what's coming up because this is the mo this is the anime we have been waiting for and guys since present present we were going back to y'all on april this is the main event that we were looking forward to see y'all on april is of course coming on the, in the next video which you guys are going to see an other counter guys you know is that you know this is the public time for the main event in april because you know how many in april well, guys, you go, guy, you go. Okay, guys, you, of course you're gonna see them again. Uh, coming in the next video, ever since the past of present, we are gonna want, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna go back to where the old thing going happen. So, guys, tell us on watch along. WrestleMania Week Two, main event. Y'all April will be a clue for Week Two. Right before we enter the a watch along the breakdown coming out this Saturday, guys. I am so excited to see what's going to happen. I'm so excited to see them again. Well, we well, guys, we say goodbye. Well, guys, so we'll see you in the next video for the main event of Weekend Watch Out for Mayo. And you on April, so guys, we'll see you in the next video. So, guys, have a good day. Have a good day, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Take it, guys. I know the wind much you see. You spin me around so I can breathe.